Today I've got a video for you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and explain um, an application that uh, was requested to me by one of my followers and he wants to understand the exposed uh, framework application and how it works and what's really its purpose. So we're going to go into an exposed framework explanation and how it functions and show you some of the features of what you can do with this uh, really cool um, application. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to download the exposed framework installer and I will give you a link to that in the video description down below so really not a huge deal. And you can install this on pretty much any phone that runs ice cream sandwich or jelly bean with the stipulation of making an Android backup beforehand because it could mess up your device. It functions on a lot of devices that I've seen. This right here I'm using it on is a Galaxy Nexus Verizon Edition. But try it on your device. First make an Android backup. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a, an Android backup is where you get into recovery. And I'll show you just so you guys can see it. This is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, this is the actually the phone I used and I installed with the Cygen Mod installer. Installed uh, CM10 or Cygen Mod 10 on. So right here is where you come in here and you do an Android backup in your recovery, whether it's Clockwork Mod Recovery or it's Torp Recovery or whatever recovery system you guys are using. Um, and make sure you do this first. Do your Android backup, and that's going to be a lifesaver in case there's a problem with the installer. So once you've got that accomplished, I'm just going to reboot. I've already done that on this device just to make sure in case there is a problem. Um, if you guys haven't seen my SideGenMod installer video, it's really, really cool. It makes this thing like super simple. It unlocks the device. It gives you, installs a ROM, installs recovery, gives you root access, does everything. Just basically following a program on the computer and plugging in your phone. Pretty much idiot proof. Uh, really, really cool work by uh, the SideGenMod team with their new uh, organization they're putting together and making it into a company. So that's really, really cool. Okay, so uh, we are booted back up here. And so you've got your Android backup. What you're going to do is download that framework installer, which is right here, exposed installer. And you're going to click on the application. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on framework. And you're going to click on this button right here, which says install and update. And you say OK. And it's done. This does require a uh, root permission. So the device has to have root access before this will function. Um, if you don't know how to do that on your device, you know, if it's one of the ones I follow, you guys can watch my videos on it. Um, but this is a prerequisite. You do have to have root access on the device. So it's installed and it even tells you it's active right there in green. So we're going to go back one. Next thing you want to do is look at your modules. Um, when you first get it, you'll have no modules listed right here. These are modules I've already downloaded. So if you want to find some modules, you just go here into the download section and scroll through these. They do do a really good job of explaining what they do in this section right here, right below the name. And pick some ones you want and download them. It installs just like an application. Once it's installed, you should be able to click in here into modules and activate them. I'm going to activate a couple of these right here. And that one. So I activated three of them. And now those modules are not going to actually function until you reboot the device. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and we can back out of it. Just go ahead and do a reboot. Pay attention to my reboot screen. These are my options because one of these mods is actually going to change that, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is going to reboot when it's done. We'll go ahead and show you how this framework installer and the modules actually function to really coolly and neatly manipulate your device and add some neat features to it. All right, guys, so we are rebooted here. Our modules should be functioning now. So some modules install as applications, and the ones I have done do install like that. So let me just show them to you. So right here is one of them. It's called Advanced Power Menu. Here's another one is App Settings. And here's another one that is Exposed Additions. And so once you've got the, you know, the installer and you've, you've turned on those, mod those modules and you've rebooted, um, you basically are going to just be going into these what look like applications which are basically just setting screens. So 
Let me explain what um, exposed framework actually does. So basically what you've got here is if you guys have edited or ever done anything with uh, theming of apps, when you go and you, th you theme an app, you actually decompile the application and then you go in and you edit the actual image files or the SAMIs and different things like that in the file. You recompile it and then you can download it to that specific phone you did it for or put the file put the APK back on the phone and it's edited and you'll have you know cool looking colors and all those kinds of fancy things that you wanted to do to make the app themed or have new features. Um, that's how you basically do it. Now with Exposed, Exposed actually doesn't actually edit any of the applications but what it does is it actually injects on top of and replaces what's in the application and not in it better way to say this it it like overrides it temporarily so that what gets displayed is what you're telling it to display through exposed um, instead of what's actually in the app so the app's not actually getting edited by installing exposed framework but you're injecting stuff like over the top of it is guess the best way you could explain it so what I'm gonna do here is this says advanced power menu and I'm just gonna show you some things you can do here um, so you wanna make sure it's turned on which is advanced reboots and right here you can see that there is like I put this in here is a quick dial number and you saw before how I only had off reboot and that things for my power menu so now if we hold our power menu okay so now you can see that I have quick dial I can actually put a phone number in there when I hit it I'll just dial that person really fast you can see I have screenshots listed on here also and you have power off still, but when you go to reboot, now you can reboot to recovery instead of entering it with the keys like I just did earlier. You can reboot to bootloader, you can soft reboot or normal reboot. Um, and that is by using this exposed advanced power menu. It has added those features to your device, which I really love because if I want to get into recovery, that just makes it so easy to do it by just using the power menu. So now you can um, actually close out of this application and anytime you go in there it's always there like that and that module is running every time you start your device one of the cool things you can do is add colors and now sometimes this takes a reboot and we'll check it later but it'll actually add some colors into these icons and stuff like that so let's go over here to the next one which is this app settings let me show you guys how this basically functions for you um, so we're going to go into an application and we're going to do this one. We're going to do Drive because I was messing with it already. And this is uh, Google Drive. You guys can actually go in here and see list of resources. And these are those files if you were editing an app. These are the files that would normally you'd go in and manually edit it. But because you're using this expose, it's going to like just eject, uh, inject stuff over the top of it, which is pretty cool. Um, so for example, if we want to change our font scale, right now we're at 100. And let me just show you what 100 looks like. So we're going to launch. And this is going to launch. So this is basically uh, Drive, <clears throat> Google Drive. We're going to go back. And we're going to change our font scale to like 200. No, not 200. That's too big. Let's go back to uh, like 160. And then you're going to hit Save. Hit OK. And then now launch the application again. And you can see your font is just way bigger um, in, the, in the application. So it's easier to see. So it's just one of the things you can do with it. There are a lot of other features in here. I'm going to go back to 100. And like I said, hit save. And done. Um, but you can actually go in here and you can make things persistent when, you, when the screen locks. You can actually change the DPI settings. Um, the screen, uh, like basically the screen DP, which is it's like resolution, um, and there's settings in there, and a whole bunch of other things. You can even go in here and do permissions and give this thing, allow it certain exact permissions for the application specifically, which you got to be careful with you're in here, but it does have those options. And that's just one of the other modules you guys can use. It is very neat to use. Um, let me show you another one. This is Navbar Extender. And it has some transparency things and some different stuff you can do in it. 
Now what I found guys is that some modules work with some phones and other ones don't with all other phones, but because this thing injects over the top of applications, when an app updates, it doesn't change it. When, you know, for different operating systems and stuff like that, you can actually just use the same setup. It, it makes this kind of universal because it's injecting the stuff over the top of the actual applications, which is really cool. Some of the modules will not work on your device. You just got to be leery of that. Also, some of the times, some of the effects will not take effect until after a reboot. So I'm just going to show you this one. I changed the color on this. So let's just do a quick reboot on it and just show you the difference in the coloring. But uh, that's pretty much what this exposed framework installer slash exposed framework does to your device. And this would work on, like I said, should work on almost any device that's ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, or higher, um, which is really, really cool. And definitely need root access. Do an Android backup beforehand if you don't. Be ready to, you know, either Odin Flash or restore your device, Samsung, SBF, use RSD Lite on a Motorola device, whatever it is, to do a full restore and you'll lose all your data. But if you make an Android backup, you should be good. Let's go ahead and just show you that now because, like I said, some of these take a reboot to actually function. So there you can see a couple color things. Now when you come in here, you've got some color icons on those also. Um, so there you go, guys. That is pretty much how Exposed works. And it just makes it so you can kind of almost like theme in a way your own device just by using Exposed. That's the, the beauty of the Exposed framework. Hope you guys liked this video. I uh, hope it was informative for you. I'm going to definitely start using this Exposed on my devices. I think it's pretty cool, especially that reboot uh, menu, which is really slick. Talk to you later. Root Junkie out.